Hi there, it's Jennifer, and I'm here today to do um, week nine of the organization challenge that I'm following along with um, from A Bowl Full of Lemons. They have a challenge that is called Home Organizing 101. Each week they put out a challenge to organize and clean up a certain area of your home. If, you, um, if this is the first video that you're tuning in on um, with me in that challenge, I have been following along since the beginning. So you can go back and take a look at any of those um, previous challenges. I'll link a few of them below. So how this goes is that um, each week they, they pick an area of the house, like the kitchen or the laundry room or um, the master bedroom or whatever, that you need to just kind of organize and clean up a little bit. And, um, and what I do is I show you um, at the beginning of the video what I did the previous week and how I took some space that in some cases they're not terribly disorganized, in other cases they're very disorganized. And I'm showing you how I accomplished that in the previous week and then I talk about the new challenge and the little um, kind of list of stuff to do that a bowl full of lemons puts out. And then I show you that area of my house that was a bit of a problem. So um, so let's talk about, so the, the previous week, I mean the coming week um, is the dining room. And so, um, but the previous week, last week's um, challenge was the um, playroom or toys. I don't have kids and so I didn't have a playroom or kids toys to organize and so what I chose to do instead was this cabinet that was a bit of a problem for me in my kitchen. It was one I chose purposely not to organize during the kitchen part of this organizational challenge because um, it didn't really have much to do with the kitchen and it's really in an awkward space and I thought I would save it for later. So that's what I did um, in the past uh, week is got that all organized. So um, I'm going to show you the place where I put my cookbooks, where I took them out of the, that cabinet and then how I took the pet supplies that were in there and got those things organized and I'll show you what I actually ended up putting on that top shelf that's totally inaccessible except by, and I'm not kidding when I say this, climbing on the counter to get it, <laughs> to get it down from there. So let me go ahead and, um, and show you uh, how that cabinet looks now. So here's where I moved my cookbooks. This is just a little cabinet we have. I can keep my purse here, you know, I've got keys hanging there and stuff. Um, some little, the baskets just kind of hold miscellaneous items. But because there wasn't a real purpose for the rest of this um, shelf unit, it just kind of collected stuff. And this is um, right off, there's my kitchen. So there are my two dogs. Um, but anyway, um, so um, I, I moved the cookbooks out of that cabinet that I'm working on and or, or that I did work on and, um, and put them over here which freed up a lot of space and now I can have um, the cookbooks that were in there as well as some that were sort of randomly put in some other areas. Well this is how this pet cabinet or cabinet, I call it pet cabinet because it's mostly pet supplies. This is how it looks now, um, and I, I sorry if this thing bumps around. I'm having to lean over my counter and film at a weird angle because, as I told you, this um, this cabinet is in a really weird space over the counter, and it's really like over a part where the counter goes to an L, and um, and so it's just really hard to get to. But because I took those cookbooks out, I was able to make two shelves with um, the supplies for my pets, the stuff on top, um, those are things that, you know, and in the basket are like toys and things that, you know, we're not getting to every day and the bottom shelf has the medications that my old dogs um, need on a daily basis. So you can see that there's a lot more space in there too. I don't plan to fill it up, but it's kind of nice to have some space. And the top shelf, um, I put some things, this is hard to get to. That thing on the right side is a little contraption for growing sprouts on your countertop. And behind that is a bowl, a glass bowl where, um, with rocks in it that I sometimes grow bulbs in in the winter. And then what you see in front here is a stackable um, 
snowman and it's a beverage server and I normally get it out during the holidays and serve you can serve either cold or hot beverages in it and I forget because it has been shoved in the back of a cabinet in my island and I never see it so I don't need to access that very often obviously like once a year but I will be reminded of it all the time because I'm opening that cabinet so um, so I would say if you have an out-of-the-way spot where you're forgetting things Move the things someplace where you can see them, but don't take up valuable space. Okay, so there you go. So I'm really excited about that one. It, it wasn't, I would say that it wasn't that that one was very difficult to do. The pet stuff needed some organization. And actually what I, used, what I did there is, um, and I can't remember if I mentioned it in that clip I just showed you, but I took the lids to those those boxes I used in the master closets, I need the lids, and I use those lids to sort of create spaces to put the bottles and things like that. So I'm, I plan to use all of those lids that I didn't use um, in the closet with the boxes. So, um, so that was nice, and now I get into that cabinet every single day, so now everything is nicely organized, and um, I'm loving that, and I'm loving that the stuff in the top of the cabinet is stuff that I can see, I know it's there, it's stuff that I will use, I do use, unless I forget I have it. That snowman thing, literally, I haven't used it for the past three years because it's been hidden from me. <laughs> so, so it's up there now and I'll see it all the time and use it. Um, probably not use it all the time, but use it at least once a year during the holidays. So yeah, that feels really good to have finished. And it was mostly took time to think about like, where am I gonna put these cookbooks? Where? So sometimes these organizational projects are not about getting down to business and doing, it's about kind of thinking, how in the heck am I going to do this? So, um, okay, it looks like everything is turning yellow in this camera, and I'm really sorry. We have a snowstorm that's moving in, and the, there are big black clouds that are just coming in, and it just changed the light. So sorry if this is weird, but okay. So now the next challenge for, for the coming week is the dining room. I have to admit that I do not actually have the sheet from a bowl full of lemons with the list of things um, to do for the dining room because I'm having to film this early. I'm, I promised you guys that I would put these videos up every Tuesday and um, I will be able to, on Tuesday, the day that this goes up, I will actually have the correct link to the to-do sheet in my blog at busybeingjen.com, but I'm, I'm having to film this a couple of days earlier than I normally do, so they don't send those things out until Sunday, and um, and I'm, I just wasn't able to uh, film this on Sunday, so I, I did it a little early. So, um, so the challenge for the coming week, though, is the dining room. So as always, um, I'm guessing that they're going to say to, um, you know, just do that whole, keep, donate, trash, recycle, um, put in another room. So if there's anything in your dining room that doesn't belong there, um, put it where it does belong. If there's anything that's trash, just throw it away, that kind of thing. Um, also, they recommend doing a little bit of uh, cleaning, dusting, dust your ceiling fans, clean off your switch plates and your baseboards and things like that. My dining room, um, my dining area, doesn't it's it, there's a lot of stuff in it i mean there's furniture and a lot of decorative items um but we stay on top of the dusting pretty well and so um i'm going to show you that here in just a second the main thing though for my dining room is that we have a couple of drawers in a sideboard table kind of thing that has have had placemats and cloth napkins and napkin rings and it's just been a mess it's always been a mess just a big pile of stuff and i can't find what's in there and I'm digging through and I'm like smushing everything down to, <laughs> to hold it down, you know, so I can shut the drawer and everything. Um, yeah, so that's really what I'm gonna focus on is um, trying to figure out a way that I can organize those things so that I can see everything and that it's not all crammed in there. So let me go ahead and show you my dining room. I'm gonna give you a little bit of a tour of this front dining room. We actually have two dining areas. The other one is just kind of part of a great room sort of thing. And so it's just a table and chairs in there. But, um, and uh, yeah, so this is, this is the front dining area and this is the area that I'm gonna show you. And then I'll show you that one, the, 
spot that I'm gonna work on. This is my dining room, and this is also the area where I film. I always sit in that chair right there, and, and these are the windows that I sometimes refer to with the changing light um, in my house. And um, so there's not too terribly much to organize in there. Um, the shelves you can see are, are um, pretty decent. They just have decorative items. Um, that cabinet right there has scrapbooks in it. Um, this other cabinet over here has um, a few miscellaneous items, but not any big deal. Um, there are those stairs that you see, and that cactus skeleton that's always kind of sticking up behind my head. There's this um, armoire, armoire that, um, that I organized. I have a video on this, so I'm not going to take the time to show you, but I did a video last summer where I just kind of organized a bunch of miscellaneous items in here, and that is a little um, cabinet that, or thing of drawers that keeps, where we keep DVDs and, and CDs and stuff. So, so that's really um, it on the dining room, and um, so the thing that I'm gonna look through is these two drawers. I know it doesn't seem like a really big project, but they, um, they have uh, placemats in them and napkins, and they're messy. And I'll show you the other one here. They're just stuffed. I can't see what's in there. Um, I need to come up with a better way of organizing those things so that when I look in those drawers, I can find everything I need. So I really don't have a lot of work to do this week. I'll probably switch out those um, placemats. Um, those are ones I, they're not terribly Christmassy looking aside from the fact that they're kind of cranberry colored, but I'll probably switch those out to a different kind this week. And um, other than that, I'm just going to work on organizing those drawers. Okay, so that's it. It doesn't seem like a lot, but um, but it does bother me. Every time I, I'm thinking about switching out my placemats, I just think, oh, where are they? And are they all together? And can I even get the drawer open? <laughs> all that kind of stuff. So um, it doesn't seem like a lot, but I'm excited to organize it and get it um, workable. I have an idea for how I might do it. I don't know. You know that t-shirt thing that I did with the way things were folded in my master bedroom? I might try to take a tip from that and see if I can do something. I don't know, I don't know. But, um, so, so I'm gonna do something that, that helps me uh, make that a more workable space. So I hope that you are thinking about what to do with your dining room. It may just be as simple, if you don't have, if you don't have a big mess in your dining room or anything to clean up, then maybe it's just taking care of your baseboards and your, um, you know, cleaning off switch plates this week or ceiling fans. Maybe that's just it. And um, if that is it, then I hope you'll I hope you'll take the time to do that. If you have a bigger project with your dining room, then you know I hope that you use this as an excuse to do that as well. But um, I hope that you're having fun with this and I say fun, you know organizing stuff feels great, but it, I don't ever think it's really fun. I just think it's great and very fun when it's all done. So hopefully you're doing that. But, um, okay, so I'll stop now. But I hope you guys are doing well, and I hope that you will continue along on the challenge. This goes for 14 weeks, so we still have a few more weeks to go down the line, and so I hope you'll stick in, uh, stick in there with me, hang in there with me during this whole thing. Um, if you are not currently subscribed to my channel, just hit that little subscribe button right there, and YouTube will let you know anytime I upload a new video to this channel. I do stuff about organizing and uh, product beauty product reviews and financial tips and vacation planning and stuff like that. So um, hopefully that sounds interesting and hopefully you'll come along with me for future videos. So anyway, you guys, thanks for watching and take care. Bye-bye.